What's up everyone, I'm a Tactical Metalhead. On October 12th, Fallout 3 received an update which has broken Fallout Script Extender as of right now. This video will be redundant once Foes is updated to comply with the new version of the game, but since we don't know how long this will take, here is a quick fix that will get you back to scavenging the Capital Wasteland. This process will work for those who already have mods installed through a mod manager such as Vortex, and for others who are looking to mod Fallout for the first time. If you have installed Foes previously, this installation will be a little different, so be sure to follow these steps. Firstly, you need to install Foes. Head to Silverlock, link in the description below. Once you're here, download the latest version of Foes. Then open your file browser, head to Downloads, and extract the file with 7-zip. After Foes has been extracted, open the folder along with another File Explorer window. In the other window, head to your Fallout 3 folder. Once located, drag all the files from the Foes folder into your Fallout 3 folder. If you had Foes previously installed, go ahead and replace the files just in case of an issue. The original installation of Foes requires you to launch Fallout 3 through the Foes loader. If you have a shortcut to the Foes loader, delete it. Now, create a shortcut to the original launcher for Fallout and put it on your desktop. If you don't want a desktop shortcut, the game will launch just fine through your mod manager or Steam. After Foes has been installed, now you need to install the Fallout Anniversary Patcher, link in the description below. Head to the Files tab and manually download. A prompt states it requires a program in order to work correctly, and I did the install without it and everything works fine. Your PC may detect the file is dangerous. To continue the download, click the arrow and open now. Now that you have the patcher downloaded, extract the file with 7-zip. Once extracted, open the folder. Drag all of its files into the Fallout folder, just like you did with Foes. After the patcher has been installed, launch the patcher application. A black screen will pop up, press enter to continue. Foes and the patcher are now installed. Head to your mod manager, deploy your mods, and be sure they are in a compatible load order. To make sure everything is working correctly, launch Fallout 3. At the main menu, press tilde key and type get Foes version. Enter. Text should appear telling you that Foes is installed. If you head back to your mod manager, it may give you a notification telling you a change has been made. It should look something like this. If you don't get a notification, everything should still work fine. Once all of this has been completed, your game should be good to go. If you have a pre-saved game, try launching and see if it works. If not, let me know in the comments below. I haven't played Fallout for years, so I do not have a pre-saved game, but starting a new one works with all of the mods I have installed, as expected. If you have any trouble, check your mod load order, installation, verify the integrity of your game files, restart your PC, and try again. You may need to go through this video one more time to make sure you've done everything correctly. I'd like to thank Ashley, Tigerduck, Hunter, and Alien for supporting me over on Patreon. If you'd like to learn more about me or support, you can find my links in the description below. That's it for today. Thanks for stopping by.